And then you come home from a day in the world to a message that something you once hoped for or never thought of in the way once, perhaps, the body brushed up against a cloud or a star in a nightclub and the dream of being totally here on earth or totally removed from it, exhausted like the book says, is easier when you have forgotten where the body ends or begins after mountains of sitting practice, sitting practice, a mysterious symbol for whatever it was that escaped you to enter after months of staring into lakes, all events are translatable like a naked sun, book, mother or hand moth and what you want, if not help, is at least some kind of acknowledgement or freedom from bondage of a task in the middle of an emergency requiring women or men or other modern animals to walk towards you in order to get the task done. Although some, of course, would want you to do otherwise. But when you see them in a forest or a raffle or a white room somewhere, what most repulses is equally that which most attracts. The angle of the arms and the legs and the possibility of being as certain as a building is, or a big one at least, until it or bad hair blocks out the sun and then. The point is that they want you to think it is too late, and dull soundtracks. It is hard to stay strong in the face of such brutal banality, but who hasn't at times felt that a haiku was harder than a hammer, or vice versa, to break the frozen lake, or something dark and hard and flat at least, like and unlike friendship or love or a good holiday, that walked around in front of us instead of babies and the promise of sleep or annihilation, no longer in the arms but with the arms, up for surrender, something or someone who you have to catch, the way soup never really makes anything happen, turning up late at parties or scowling, wearing too much eyeliner, being tepid and splashy. If there was not at the start of things a point of resistance, then look again at something better than this, holding on to something good which is not even good because you made it, an answer of sorts, even at the worst moments, either holding it up or covering it, and if the idea of avoidance or protest or compassion equals a method to move through it, out, over and across from us, into the sleeping thing called a star or a comet, speck getting in the way of life, how we once knew it, growing, being too late to refuse the call and the dream life, without compass, in order to pick something else up, this thing being you and this thing being us, says enough sun which is bright till we exit it which is just sitting here in this room believing the mind moves as quickly as it needs to from consciousness to unconsciousness to truth often or being noisy or being a little abstract upon the train perhaps the mothers are singing either to close up the old world or welcome the new one because no single saw can cut deep enough to slow the shift of the sun Perhaps the mothers are singing, a leaf, even, with happiness. Perhaps, and for all of the audience, hopeful, victorious, great and awful, we are complicated, warm beings after all. The darkness that surrounds us and beyond it, without resignation and small hope, like contemplation, like being careful not to wake from the dream, the thing which we most desire, the thing that keeps us so often from sleep, here with you now, wrapped in a human or light, yes, or blanket, bursting into tears at the sight of it.